Hello Pisces, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. If you look at your moon and rising signs, these readings may suit you better. Now we're going to take a couple of these cards here and we're going to clarify them. Now what we have here is we have the Justice card. Now there's been very challenging times here and you can see this. These are all karmic lessons you've been through here, but you're battle weary now. So you can see this, he's ready to make a decision. Now you're nearly at the end of something here. Now this could be a legal situation. Um, so if there's a, an outcome here to a legal situation in regards to relationships here, there's going to be a fair outcome from everybody involved here. This could also be if, if things have become challenging, the Spirit's reminding you that whatever efforts you put in, you'll get back. So make sure that you're putting your efforts into the right things here. If somebody is mistreating you and becoming very challenging, the universe will deal with them. It's not for you to do it. So let's have a wee look and see what this is all about. Spirit, please show me clearly here. Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Wands. Your challenging cycles are coming to an end here, most definitely. The King of Swords, the Queen of Cups, very intuitive queen here. The High Priestess, so that's twice, intuition twice and a new chapter. Now I do feel here for some of you there's been, well there's definitely been upsets here and discontentment within your relationship or your situation. Now he's looking out and if I say he or she it's not a gender specific reading, I'm talking about the energies on the cards, but he's looking out there to the future for wish fulfillment. So there's been lots of disappointments and heartaches and upsets and things have been very, very challenging. Now, this is about being honest with yourself and the people round about you that things are needing to change. There definitely is things are needing to change. Now, the only thing I can say about this Three of Swords energy is that you will recover from this situation. The clouds will clear and you will walk away from this relationship and you will find wish and contentment in the future. So there's a price to be paid here, most definitely. What we need to be doing is we need to be ending these challenges. You're coming to the end of this challenging cycle. And I do feel for a lot of you, it could be a legal situation. Things You're having to wait here for things to wrap themselves up. Now, whatever's going on here, there will be a fair and just outcome from everybody involved because that's what karmic justice is. And you don't need to concentrate on the hurts or the challenges you went through. The universe deals with that further down the line. The only thing you need to be worrying about or concerned with, not worrying about, that's the wrong word. Thank you, they corrected me immediately. The only thing you need to be concerned about here is getting a fair outcome in this situation to enable you to look to the future towards your future happiness. Now, this here can be legal advice. It can be legal advice, it can be financial advice, it can be chatting to someone who's outside the box who can see the situation clearer. But you will gain the enlightenment you need through gathering information. Now, it might be the case that you might have to speak up here about how you're feeling, most definitely, and that's what's going to move things on for you. And that could involve, you know, that's the karmic justice in that sense, that things will move forward and the challenges will end. So if you're not happy within your relationship, and you haven't spoke about it, now is the time to do it. Begin to follow your intuition. Listen to your intuition here and what it's telling you. Because this is enlightenment, this is knowledge. There's disappointment and upsets and something we need to move on from. Now, this is about doing what's right for you. You can view it in a compassionate way. That's the ninth cup. And to get your contentment, you're going to have to listen to your intuition and follow your heart's desire. So these challenges are going to have to end. You're going to have to walk away. Your relationship could have reached a plateau. It could have reached a glass ceiling. So listen to your intuition here. Follow your heart chakra. That's what she does. But she can do it in a compassionate way. It might be that you might have to consider other people here. Like I say, there might be a financial or legal situation or advice that needs to be gathered to enable these challenges to be put aside. 
Now, this is definitely about your stability. You need to think about your future stability here, which is why we're talking about fair outcomes. Uh, you have to be fair as well. So speaking up about this could be you being fair and honest in the way you're going about yourself and be fair and honest in the way you deal with things as you go forward. So it's about doing the right thing here. That's as important as anything else. Doing the right thing is highly important because that's what's going to enable you to go towards newfound stability. And this here can be information gathering. So it can be any kind of advice. You might want to look at your options here carefully and study the situation to get the fair and best outcome for everybody involved in this, you know, so that everybody can move forward. And we can keep it amicable, if you like, because this is about being compassionate. It's about understanding other people's feelings, having to take them into consideration. So compassion here is your friend. That's what's going to be on your side, and that's what will enable you to move forward. And what Spirit is wanting for you is brand new opportunities for happiness. You need to free yourself so that you can take up new ventures. Definitely. Whatever that means for you. Now, it could be a new relationship. If you've met someone else, it may be. It's, or just freeing yourself so that you're free to take up brand new opportunities because the, the relationship you're in just now is not working for you. You're not happy in it. And it's about playing fair. It's about being honest and playing fair. And if you're honest, the universe will back you. But the universe is trying to get you to move on so that you can take up new opportunities for romance, most definitely. So you're freeing yourself. And what's happening here is you're starting a brand new life chapter. So you're successfully shutting down the relationship you're in and you're freeing yourself, walking through the portal and going through Victorious. And it is a successful ending. So like I say, remember, be thinking others here. Don't just think of yourself. Be fair and just and be honest in, in your dealings with the person here. Uh, because that's what's going to be bring you the success. You're going to do it successfully. And when you go through that portal, you're not going to look back. There's no going back. Once this decision's made, once you've made it clear, um, and if you're coming from your true, authentic place and you're being honest and truthful and being fair about things, the universe is definitely going to support you. You will get the support you need. It's about going towards happiness. You're making room here, new opportunities for new suitors to come forward. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, possibly Wands or Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. But the important thing here is that you're going towards happiness. You're going to you're going towards that cup. You're following your heart's desire and it's moving you forward towards happier time. There we go. There we go. New opportunities for happiness and passion are definitely on the horizon. But we need to shut this down first so that we can bring the new opportunities in. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.